Romans chapter 13, verse 11, and that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Ka Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. This is a testimony of a sign, a high level spiritual sign that this is over, man. That we're at the end of the end. We're right there at the door. Literally right there. Okay. It's that near. All right. And before I go into this sign that Yahabashi Mahashah showed me, I would like to say this. There are enough signs to know. Without the sign that he showed me, there are enough signs to know that it's the end. That it's over, man. Everybody should know that we're at the end, man. Okay. The Lord said, watch so that he will not catch you like a thief. You're supposed to be watching. If you're watching, you can see that we're at the end, man. Okay. And also, too, Yahabah Shema was speaking to the prophets. And what are we saying? We're saying this is it. We at the door, man. Not just one prophet, not just two. We're all saying it, man. So if you believe that we're the man of the Lord, you know that Yahabah Shema was speaking to us to let you know that we're at the end and you need to get ready. Okay. So I want to make that point. So back to the testimony. It was me and my wife. We were driving, getting something to eat, and we were in deep conversation. And I was speaking about how the plagues of ancient Egypt is coming back to this Egypt and that the plagues has already begun. OK, and we're just at the beginning. All right. It's going to crank up heavily, man. These plagues, man. OK, and it's going to hit and hit and hit to the point where everybody going to know that it's over. Even these heathens. Esau, they're going to know like, man, this is over. America's done. You know, it's going to go to that level, man. And I was talking about how in ancient Egypt, how the waters were turned into blood. All right. It was turning to blood and they couldn't drink and the fishes died in the water and it was stinky. OK. And when you read in Revelations, I'm not going to read it, but you can go read it. About how in Babylon, man, it says that because they have killed the prophets, killed the saints. OK, the blood of the saints. All right. And the angel put the vow on the rivers and the waters and it turned to blood, man. And they're worthy to drink of it, man. OK, the scriptures say that my servant shall drink. My servant shall eat, but they should be hungry. My servant shall drink. Key word shall drink and they should be thirsty. So just give you the background of what was said so you understand what happened here. So we're in deep conversation about that and about getting ready, about putting any bullshit aside, man. It don't matter. We at the end. We have to prepare ourselves, man. OK, that was pretty much a conversation, man, that is over and the plague's about to hit like crazy. And we got to be ready for it, man. We have to be ready for it. When we pulled up at the house, I got out the car. She got out the car. And I stopped and looked at the sky. OK. And I said in these words, I said, the angel's going to come. OK. And it's going to be green. OK. It's going to come a chariot and it's going to be green. And I'm going to count to 10. OK. This is what I said right after the conversation. And I got out the car. So I counted to 10 seconds. And after I counted to 10, I waited. Me and her both waited. She was sitting there next to me, standing there next to me. And literally, I would say probably 10 more seconds, something like that. Could have been 7, 8, 10, something like that. All of a sudden, a green angel just came, man. A chariot just streaked through the sky, like real fast, too. Okay? Streaked through the sky, and it was green, man, that emerald green. Okay? Emerald Burrell, that color. All right? Like the scriptures say. Now, when I saw it, I didn't even have time to ask my wife, do you see it? Do you see it? Before she said it, that she saw it. Okay. I saw it. I was about to say something to her. And then before I said it, she says, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. It was right there. And I was like, you saw it, right? Yeah, I saw it. And um, we walked in the house, man, just full of joy, smiling. You know, like it was a strong, strong peace and comfort. After that moment, man, 
you know, and the point that I'm even telling this testimony is because it was a sign that it's over, man. That happened right after our conversation, man. Okay. And we were deep into that conversation. Like that's all we were talking about. Like our mind was single minded towards this place being over towards the plagues of ancient Egypt coming back on this Egypt. Okay. Now let's go back to the scriptures. Romans 13 verse 11. And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. And it's definitely high time for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay. Now, when you go to Jeremiah 51, verse 6, let's read it. Flee out of the mix of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. That's what we're talking about, basically. Okay? Whatever it is, man, that you need to work on, you better work on it now. Okay? Don't wait until all hell break loose to work on things that you know the Spirit is telling you to work on. Okay? And that was part of our conversation. So flee out of the mix of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Okay. And you're seeing that happening with this whole COVID situation and different things happening. That's man. This is only the beginning. Okay. It's about to get crazy out here, man. It's about to get epically crazy, man. Okay. So in this scripture, when it talks about fleeing Babylon, it's talking about your mind, your spirit, man. Okay, your inner man. Okay, get your mind out of this place. Okay, you got to work. You got to, you know, do the natural things, the common things. Outside of that, man, flee out of this place in your mind, man. This place is done. Okay. Let's go to Revelation chapter 18, starting at verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. Now, this is when Yahweh physically come down here, OK, to take Jake out of here, man. Come out of her, my people, getting beamed up in them chariots. OK, when I read it in Jeremiah, OK, that was talking about our mind coming out of this place. Because your mind has to come out of this place before Yahweh Shai actually physically gets you out of this place. Before you're saved. Okay? If your mind don't come out of this place, you're not going to be saved, man. Okay? Because you ain't going to watch. You ain't going to know that it's the end. Okay? So it says, and that you receive not of her plagues. We're in the time of the plagues, man. <laughs> okay? It's about to get super, super real. All right, you better fear your how about you, shot, man. You better check your fear, examine your fear, man, so that you can receive mercy. Okay, and those plagues pass by you. Okay, verse five: For her sins have reached unto heaven, and your how about you, shot, have remembered her iniquities. Right, man. Okay, they have remembered Babylon, have remembered Esau. Okay, so. Yahabah Shemar is about to unleash. They have been long suffering for a long time now. All right. We can't expect for Babylon to continue normal. All right. And go back to normal. No, it's over, man. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. Okay. And also the last time that I was thinking hard about the plagues on Egypt, I did like, I think like two, three lessons in a row about the plagues coming on this Egypt on Babylon and around that time that was like maybe two months ago three months ago I was heavily thinking about it and I was going to my destination and got the car and angels zipped through the sky at that time confirming hey you in the right mind state it's over man get ready so just want to throw that out there okay verse 6 reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled Filled to her double. Right, man. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Okay. Judgment is coming, man. All right. So just want to add a couple of those scriptures, man, to understand that we at the end is over. Okay. Yahabah Shemar is speaking through his man. Telling you. Telling all of you, man, 
Y'all better examine yourselves, man. The scriptures say before judgment, examine thyself and thou shalt find mercy. You don't need mercy. The things that's coming upon the planet, man. The things that's coming upon Babylon. Okay? No excuses. You got no excuses, man. All right? Either get ready, prepare yourself, examine yourself. Okay? Flee from this place mentally, work on yourself daily. Or you're going to be ashamed. You're going to be ashamed because you know that Yahweh Shema Shah told you of these things. So when it gets very, very real, okay, very, very real, man, all right, in reality, not just going to a theater and watching a movie and like, oh, man, that's horrible. No, this is coming to reality, the things that's about to take place, okay? It's not going to be any excuses. So with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the Elzegrid Millstone and Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.